Here we're going to set up this Siglent SDS1104XE to do some SPI bus decoding. What we're going to do is we're going to press the default button so we can set it up all again. And while that's just going through that, what we'll do is we'll just look at what we've got on the bench and what we're trying to monitor. So here I've got just a standard nano. Uh, it's feeding into this uh, 433 megahertz uh, transceiver and I've got all the wires connected, the usual uh, clock signals, uh, cable select, etc. on there. So that's what's on the bench and what we're measuring. So if we just look at the code in the Nano, we're just using this standard library for the 433 megahertz, not really relevant to this video. This bit is, all I'm doing it talks to the uh, transceiver using the SPI bus, obviously. And all I'm literally doing is just sending hello world, A, B, C, right up to Z. I'm waiting 10 milliseconds. And in between that, I'm just having a delay of one second. And it's just going to keep repeating itself. So the signal's reset itself. So let's start by just make, ensuring the uh, probes are set to times 10 as we always do and just to be clear that was a standard reset by the way straight outside out of the box there's no uh, extra settings in there it's just a, a very basic reset back to as it was when you first got got the scope so times 10 okay so they're all now times 10 we're going to set the voltage to 5 volts on each of the channels because I'm using the nano it's a 5 volt nano even though the transceiver I'm using is a 3.3 volts VCC, uh, it does it does uh, communicate on 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 five volts uh, over the SPI, although not powered by more than 3.6 volts. Thing it is, because as I found out earlier, I blew one up when I put 8.6 volts on it by accident. So okay, so we've got we've got the we've got the channel set up. Now we're going to go into the decode here. And we're going to use decoder one. It's got two decoders on here, but I'm going to use one. And I'm going to select my protocol. Uh, you can do I2C, SPI, UART, CAN bus. I've done a video on CAN bus, very popular, and LIN bus. We're going to set up the signals next. First of all, the clock. We're just going to put the clock. It's on channel one. It's connected onto the circuit on, on channel one. Threshold 1 volts, fine. Raising edge, no problem with that. MISO is currently disabled because we pressed the default. So we're going to enable it and I've got it on channel 2. I'm going to set a threshold of 1 volt again, approximately, somewhere near. MOSI, again, it's disabled. This is the one we're going to read. So we're going to put that on channel 3 and we're going to set it to 1 volt. 110 close enough and cable select channel 4 threshold 1 voltish okay now that's that's the signal level set now this is this is the important but you've got to make sure you transfer those over onto the uh, trigger settings and the easiest way to do that you can obviously press the setup press the setup button and set them up manually yourself but if you look on page 2 of the decoder You've actually got copy settings and you can press copy settings and then copy to trig for copy to trigger. You can push those in then. Now all the settings are moved over to, over for triggering also. If we just alter that out a bit and pull it out a little bit, maximum 20 milliseconds. If you try to do more, it will not decode properly, at least in my experience. But if you press the trigger, we can now see we've got a trigger frame. Just come out a little bit further though. What we need to do is we want to activate the list in the decoder. And we'll turn the display on. And we'll turn it on for decoder one. I'm going to go back because I've got hexadecimals here. Maybe hexadecimals. Yeah, hexadecimals I can see on the other side. Format. 
and we're going to format that into ALSCII 2 just because I'm doing that hello world and as you see instantly now I've got ABC if I press the list button here I can get to scroll and I need this so I can use the multifunction key up here to scroll through what it's found which is there hello world and ABC up to Z okay so that's that's the first thing we've, we've, we've learnt so the other thing that we need to no is and uh, well, I'll tell you what let's just let's just alter the display slightly first so we'll we'll lift we'll lift the cable select up and we'll bring the uh we'll bring the clock we'll bring the clock down so I want to show something in a minute and then we'll sigh bring that down here too like that and we'll just push that up there a little bit okay there you go and the reason for that is because we're going to look at some extra triggering. So let's say I wanted to trigger something on uh, on, on 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 the letter Z. We can we can do this by using the trigger function. So first of all, I'm going to need to know what uh, the binary format is for the letter Z. So if we do that here, so here we are. So we want the letter Z. So uh, this is here. So that's ninety. So we need to convert that to binary. So if we use the calculator and we enter nine zero, we're on the we're on the programming mode mode here. Oops, we can see that this is the binary representation of decimal ninety. So we need to set our oscilloscope up to to that value. So let's do that now on the oscilloscope. So I'm going to press the setup for the setup trigger. And I'm going to go into trigger setting. And here you see you've got MOSI and you've got, at the moment it doesn't really care. It's just saying, I can be any value. I'm just going to trigger on that. But I want it to trigger on, on, on the Z. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up bit position. I've set up eight, by the way. I've, I've told it that I'm on trigger type MOSI. And the data length is eight, and obviously, if we if we alter that, we can we can get even even longer binary matches. But I want the the letter Z, so I'm going to do that. Bit position zero, and I'm going to enter the bit as zero. Then bit position one, I need that to be a one. Bit position two. I believe we need that to be a zero. Bit position three. When I get my calculator back on my screen over here. Uh, so zero and then bit position three. Wants to be a one. Four wants to be a one, I believe. Yeah, one. Five wants to be a zero. Six wants to be a one. Oops. And seven wants to be a zero. Now, obviously, you could leave some of these as X's if you didn't care what that particular bit was. One, zero, or X means anything. And there we go. So if I press the trigger now and zoom in, We should have triggered, and here's our trigger point here, right on the Z. And what's more, if we look at these clock pulses here, we've got the first clock is zero, goes high when it's a zero, second one goes up when it's a one, third one, zero, fourth one, fifth one, sixth zero. I think I've miscounted there, but anyway. As you, as you see, each time the clock pulse pulse goes up, whatever MS uh, M, MOSI is, then it takes it takes that uh, takes that value. And I think that is about it. The well, actually, just remembering that the one thing I have found is that if we try to zoom out any more than 
get any more data than 20 milliseconds then the data is always corrupted not quite sure what why that is but if we go on here we go on to the list scroll as we see when we when we scroll down these the list here we haven't got the data we were expecting 20 milliseconds and all is good we get what we're expecting and obviously we can we can zoom in as long as we get a full on on the display a full frame on the display then all is good again working backwards up up the values because we stopped at z of course and, we, and we're going that way so i think that's about it for spi bus any comments put them in the comments please please like subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this that would be great i'm going to do this on the cheap uh lht just a simple uh logic analyzer where you should because you've got eight connections you should be able to do both both sides of this interface in one hit but for now that's 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 the signal one